it's been forever oh my gosh <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm going to do a video on how to avoid flashback when you use loose powder you're gonna start off by priming oh there we go it's from essence it's 110 rand i think so this one is very moisturizing it's almost as if it's a it's a moisturizer that's why i love it i just put it all over and moisturize my skin yeah but as i said the most important thing is for you to moisturize before you start off uh, super stay 30 hour i love the yellow undertone but i can't use it on its own because it's too yellow for me okay i'm gonna put three pumps like that this is the bantu glow i mix them this is what i always recommend if you buy a lighter foundation and it doesn't work for you buy a darker one and then mix them because you can always work with that don't stress too much about getting the perfect shade let's see how that looks so i'm just gonna add a little bit more my beauty blender is from real techniques it's very very good but any blender will do again guys whenever you follow the tutorial follow them step by step to the t so when i start applying my foundation start with applying your foundation as well and do exactly as i do so that if something doesn't work you can come tell me that no 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 i followed the steps but this is where i had a problem when you apply foundation focus on one area don't spread it all over your face and blend all over because you'll find that by the time you come to the other side of your face the foundation is already dry so just make sure that you blend in one area first before you move to another area like mm, this is the concealer that i'm going to be using this yellow shade here so you can just use any concealer that you have so oh when you apply concealer you have to look up especially when you blend now i'm sort of going to act like i'm blending it with this brush like you tap like this do you see guys but this brush is very small so it's not like the easiest to work with but now i'm just doing it to spread the product so pat 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 you can use a, um, a bigger brush to achieve this i'm using a small one because my bigger brush is dirty i'm so lazy to wash it forehead as well yeah and then you blend 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 on my nose i used the product that was already on the brush i didn't go back in just because i don't want it to be too yellow like using a fluffy brush and blend so the trick is be very very gentle see Just be very, very gentle like that. I don't want it to disappear, but at the same time, I don't want it to leave borders like that. You see, like on my forehead, on the side, or oh, her, you see everything now is coming together. It's being blended. So you want to try and blend it the most at the edges, you know? Like you see the edges, the sides, so that, oh, this fluffy brush is blending it so well. See like that. And here guys, like you have to look up and be very gentle so that you don't have streaks. Ne? Be very, very gentle. Like that. Then you go at the bottom the edge. Actually, you can still see, you could still see like the border. You want to make sure you don't have any of that look up ceiling that's what i say to my clients look up ceiling up very very lightly this is important very very lightly lightly dab 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 just so that you can get rid of any streaks like do it so so lightly as if like you don't want to do it at all a translucent bear loose powder from yardley so i'm gonna dab a little bit of that like this 
you know i always blow i don't care what powder i'm using i'm gonna blow and take the excess off like this and then you go in then you take another layer you can even dust it off here so that you don't take a lot dust it off the extra go in because you want to control how you put your powder you don't want to go in too much with a lot you want to control and i know that my under eye looks yellow that's why i use the yellow um concealer because i want to get that banana powder without using a banana powder and remember you need to make sure that the under eye is blended to avoid creasing I still contour with it. This one that I was using to blend my concealer and dab it a bit on the excess. Like I dab on and then dab some more the excess out and then slightly. Woo! <laughs> and I don't know how that even happened. Which is that hair? So you know I don't like swiping. But this is my blush area for me. And then my contour is here. You see? Here. Just below the cheekbone. You see the cheekbone is here. And then just below it. Just below. Ooh, I went OD this side, honey. As you can see. I don't use like a super dark contouring shade i actually use a shade that gives me a little bit of a bronzed look instead of like that harsh dark contour you know i like a little bit of a a bronze like the bronzed contour um contour with some powder i used to use this one but now i'm leaning more to this one because this one is very very dark oh it is and i didn't even did you guys see i didn't add anything i just used what was it? Oh, <laughs> ciao. Not this um, powder making me so, like this brush making me so dark. And then I'm gonna use some of the contour, but like I'm not going in too harsh. And then you just start here, you see here on the corners of your nose, like that. The other side as well just going to powder my entire face okay i think that's a bit fine right a little bit there it's Oh, bake has not such a bad idea. This one. Okay, I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush. This is from Foshini. This is the shade. Everything else has, like, it fell. <laughs> so, the trick is also dust. You know, if there's one thing that you need to know and never forget about makeup is that dust off everything before you put it on your face because you you'd rather build a product up than put a lot when you start off just a little here you put powder over it yeah so the trick is always i'm just gonna dust this off because i don't like baking for too long You're gonna brush your brow hairs with a spoolie as usual and then brow pencil this is the essence long lasting eye pencil in hot chocolate zero two i have to powder my brows just a bit you see just powder the brows a bit so that it's not too slippery when i when I draw line lightly, ne? lightly, lightly, don't be too heavy handed. 
lightly draw following your natural and then on top like that and then just feel the sparse area like this like that and then just a little bit in front and then comb it out like this with your spoolie And then that's it, literally. You're gonna dip in a little bit of that foundation. Do you remember the foundation we mixed and used? Like that. And then you you blend it down like this. You can even raise your brows like this. Push it back into the skin like that. Then you do the same for this side. I've had this eyeshadow palette for, like I received it, I, I'm not sure, but like, wow, wow. So this is the eyeshadow stunning 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 by modern dolls sorry it's a bit dirty because i work i'm a makeup artist so i'm just gonna go in with this shade it looks so yummy yeah i think this is it which one should we do we've got choice number one these ones are for people who hate lashes by the way which one honey which one pick a side pick a side actually i have these ones i i did take them because i use this for clients so like if i keep taking them out and using them on myself where did i put mine here's what it is but i feel like these are stunning right this looks stunning i feel like they have that stana 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 nasa Damn. In the name of Jesus Christ, my lashes are not gonna give me a problem. Amen. And my lower lashes, even though I like how clean this look is, I'm going to add a Lash Princess Mascara. Guys, how many of you can apply mascara without pulling the, the, the that face? We're done with the face. I'm just going to come back and do the outro. Okay, guys. This is the finished look. I just, I'm going to spritz on some setting spray. This is the Fix Plus from MAC. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't mind. Ugh. So anyways... I'm going to show you guys now the flashback test. I'm going to take a picture with the flashlight and then we're gonna see how it looks. Here, somewhere here, so that you guys can compare and see. Otherwise, I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. Hope that you like it. I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to watch all the other videos, okay? Bye-bye.